In the past soldering video, we showed you how to solder and how to make a very nice solder joint with wires. This video will include some advanced soldering techniques, so let's get started. In addition to the standard soldering tip, every high quality soldering station will include a number of interchangeable tips that you can add to your soldering tool. From left to right, we have a long screwdriver tip, which is 1 seconds of an inch. Then we have a conical tip, followed by a long conical tip, and then another standard tip. The conical tip that we already have installed will be fine for our general PCB soldering. Now you always want to start with a clean solder tip, so we'll make sure that that tip is clean and free of any old solder. Here we're going to solder an audio jack into a board with four pins. Now I like to use the larger gauge or smaller diameter solder, just because I think it's easier to use, but your preference may be different as you get more experienced in soldering. As with any soldering, you always want to apply heat to both the pad, or in this case a through hole, and the leg. And let the solder do the work and fill the through hole completely. Again, apply heat and solder and make sure solder fills the entire through hole and the leg. Now the smaller the circuit board, like this one that we used for our LED cube, it's going to require a little bit more patience and care to make a good solder joint and not to cross the solder onto another through hole. Now sometimes instead of using wire to join contacts on a board, you can use solder. Apply solder to one of the through holes. Apply solder to the other through hole that we want to connect. And then add some solder in the middle to make the connection. Now the key here is not to let the solder get too hot or it won't join with the other solder. You have to let it cool and then slowly work it across and make a little bridge from one connection to the other. Don't forget to keep your tip clean. It's just going to make your job easier. Now when soldering chips or other small components, in this case an IC holder, it's helpful to have a piece of wood or something else so once you get it in place, your module in place, you can put the piece of wood over it and flip it over. Now you have access to all your pins. Then all you need to do is apply solder to one of the pins and that'll hold the module in place. Then you can make all your other connections without the component falling out. Now to solder other components like transistors, resistors, and capacitors, there's an easy way to get them to stay in place because once you flip the board over, they're gonna fall out. Once you insert your component and flip it over, all you have to do is bend the leads just a teeny little bit so the component stays in place. Don't bend them too far because when you're done making those solder connections, you're gonna to wanna to clip those leads. Well, I hope this brief tutorial on PCB soldering will help you become a better maker. If you missed any of my other KipK tips, click the end cards on the screen to check those videos out. More KipK tips next week. Thanks for watching.